9798 Allah has absolute control over everything and nothing has any control over him nothing can be independent of Allah even for the blinking of an eye and whoever considers himself independent of Allah for the blinking of an eye is guilty of unbelief and becomes one of the people of perdition Allah's ghadab anger severe unacceptance by Allah and rida genuine acceptance by Allah are not similar to any creature so the ghadab the anger of Allah the rida which is the satisfaction of Allah from the person are not like the human beings so Allah is pleased with them when Allah Azza wa said Allah is pleased with them in the Quran that means that it's only Allah that can be pleased with people and displeased they drew on themselves the wrath of Allah Azza wa it's only coming from the people themselves we think about them the same as they think about his other attributes like hearing seeing and speech what attributes controlling feeling that the person is dependent or independent so Allah Azza wa Jal is no one can be independent from Allah Azza wa Jal and every one of us is just dependent on him in each second of our life and this is the, the problem of the current day secular life and secular system when they are actually introducing this system for life where everyone feels independent everyone feels not in need for anything so they provide the person with things in their life that actually he feels that he doesn't need anything and this is something that for example I had a discussion with an atheist and he said to me why do I need God I have everything I have my job I have money I don't need anyone why do I need a God so that's the 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 thinking that they have the moment the person thinks that he is independent he doesn't need the support of Allah Azza wa Jal, then he actually for a blink of eye thinking that he's independent he actually had the ghadab of Allah Azza wa Jal, the wrath of Allah Azza wa Jal.